Hi everybody, I've got some old wives gender prediction questions and little uh, exercises I guess to do and uh, I wanted to share them with you. I have never done these before. I'm now four months pregnant. I have two other kids, two boys. They just turned three and two and I've never done this kind of thing with those other two pregnancies. So I'm really kind of excited to try this out and see how true it is and kind of compare these questions to how things were with my other two pregnancies. So first I'll go through the questions and then after that we'll do the three little activities. One is the baking soda and pee test and the second one is the string with the ring on it over the belly test and then the third one is the spoon and fork test. So the questions that I got were one, how has your skin changed since your pregnancy? If it's been more on the dry side, they say it's a boy. And if it's been more on the oily side, they say it's a girl. And I guess that's all kind of related to like hormones and the extra testosterone and estrogen that's released. I don't know. But normally I have combination dry oily. But I've definitely noticed that with this pregnancy, my skin has been definitely more on the oily side. No dryness whatsoever. So that would be one for girl. The other question is headaches. If you get um, a number of headaches, it is a boy. If you don't get any headaches, it's a girl. I suffer from migraines um, anyway, but since this pregnancy, I haven't had any. Um, the only one I did get, I got a pretty bad headache, was when they put me on that anti-nausea medicine that's prescription, and one of the side effects is headaches, so um, that did give me like the worst headache ever. But since I've been pregnant, I haven't had any issues with headaches, so that's um, another one for girl. Question number three. Um, do you gain more so in your tummy or in your booty? And this one, I couldn't really tell just because, I don't know, I kind of stare at my body all day anyway, but my husband from the get-go noticed my butt getting bigger. So he definitely noticed. And, you know, I will say though, when I when I've been trying on clothes, I feel they're more tighter in the backside than my tummy. My tummy really hasn't um, gotten too big at four months. But so that's another one for girl. Okay, they also say, like I've read online and seen that intuition plays a really big part. Apparently there's some science behind this and like 70% um, of results turn out correct. So your instincts, your mother's intuition, what do you feel you're having? Um, what do you dream about that you're having? I really feel that this one is gonna be a girl. Um, I've just been feeling that from the beginning and I kind of felt like if we ever had a third one that it would be a girl. So I'm gonna go with girl for that one. The other question is, the color of your pee, is it really bright yellow or is it more of a lighter yellow? If it's bright, bright yellow, then it's a boy. If it's a lighter color yellow, then it's a girl. And I would definitely say mine is more on the dull side, so lighter, I would say. Um, but that, that one's kind of funny though because if you take vitamins, you know it's going to make your pee bright anyway. And if you drink a lot of water, that always depends. So that one's kind of funny to me, but as of now, it's more of a, it's not really bright. My pee's like a lighter yellow. So that's another one for girl. Um, let's see. Oh, the heartbeat one. And this one, my doctor actually um, told me. And so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, her old wives tale that she's heard growing up is the heartbeat. If the heartbeat is over 140, it's a girl. 
If it's under 140, it's a boy. Now, my first appointment where she checked the heartbeat, it was 163. And then my second appointment where she was into the heartbeat, it was 155. So it dropped a little bit, but it's still over 140. So according to that old wives tale, it would be a girl. Um, let's see, morning sickness. If you have morning sickness, it's a girl. If you have no morning sickness, it's a boy. Now, this one definitely did not hold true for my other two pregnancies. My first pregnancy with my son, I was throwing up so much, I lost 15 pounds. My second pregnancy, I didn't lose any weight, but I was sick and throwing up for months and months, probably about four months. And right now, I've definitely had morning sickness. I've lost a couple pounds just because of all the throwing up, but I do eat regularly, like every couple hours, but I eat really healthy, so I don't eat a lot of junk. So my weight is, I haven't gained any, and I'm at month four, but I have really bad morning sickness. So they say morning sickness is a girl, but so far all my morning sickness, I've gotten boys. So that one's kind of whatever. According to this test, it should be a girl, but with my other two pregnancies, that proves wrong because they were both boys. All right, the other um, question is your diet, what you're kind of craving. Craving more sugary things, which would mean you're having a girl, or are you craving more salty things and dairy things, which mean you're having a boy. Now, with my first two pregnancies, all I wanted was dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt. I just ate that stuff all the time, and I had two boys. With this one, I'm definitely craving more chocolate, jelly beans, and fruit. I eat a lot of fruit, but I do crave a lot of pickles. But for the most part, I'm more on the, the sugar sweet side. So that one would say I'm having a girl. The other question is the temperature of your feet. If your feet feel more cold, you're having a boy. If your feet feel the same, normal, not cold, not hot, just how they've always felt, you're having a girl. So my feet definitely feel normal. Um, but you know what? I'm naturally more cold anyway. The funny thing is though, when I do get pregnant and I get a big belly, I, I'm burning up all the time. I remember when I was uh, eight and a half months with one of my sons, it was winter time, snow was on the ground, I was sleeping with no clothes on, the window open, and the fan on. That's how hot I was when there was snow on the ground outside in December. I mean, I was just a human oven, hot all the time. But I don't remember anything about my feet being too cold or too warm, but I know right now, with this pregnancy, my, my feet are normal, so that would mean for me a girl. And the last question is, which side of your body do you sleep on more? If you sleep more on your left side, it's a boy. If you sleep more on your right side, it's a girl. And I've been kind of paying attention to this one a lot lately. And I've definitely been sleeping, I start out on my left, but I end up on my right. I toss and turn a lot, so I don't really know this one. Um, I don't know, it's kind of a toss up, so I don't know. But if you sleep more on your left, boy, if you sleep more on your right, girl, I don't know, I guess since I start out on my left, then we'll just go with boy. So, one for boy. So, those were the questions, um, definitely, keep watching because now we're gonna show you the baking soda test and the um, ring and string test and the spoon and fork test okay so stay tuned keep watching all right here's the uh, ring and string test over the belly here's the ring I'm using it's my champagne diamond 
Valentine's Day gift from my husband, and the string is seriously just dental floss. Oh, you might have added some of those still on. Oh, that's definitely a circle. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa, that's a big circle. That's a big circle. <laughs> All right, that's kind of creepy how it just starts yeah. doing that. It's All right. Amazing. So it's a circle. So that would mean it's a girl. Yay. All right, so this is the spoon and fork test. And if you pick the spoon, it's supposed to be a girl. And if you pick the fork, it's supposed to be a boy. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna leave the room and my mom is going to put one of these, well, one utensil under one pillow and another utensil under another. And I'm supposed to come in here and sit on the one I feel like I'm supposed to sit on. And that will see if I'm having a boy or a girl. So let's see what happens. Okay, here she comes. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which one do I sit on? Okay. <sighs> I feel like sitting on this one. <laughs> All right, so let's see what it is. Here's the baking soda test. So I have a brand new box of baking soda I opened like 30 seconds ago, and it is at room temperature. And then I have my pee in that cup, gross, that I just <laughs> did. It's not my first morning pee, but it's like my third, so I don't know if that matters. But we'll take about a teaspoon of baking soda and put it in the cup. Now if it fizzes when you add your urine, it's supposed to be a boy. And if nothing happens, it's supposed to be a girl. So let's see what happens. Mm, nothing so far. Okay, it looks like absolutely nothing so according to this test i should be having a girl yep. all right so we did all 13 little exercises and questions and according to all of that they were all except for one a girl so 12 out of 13 say girl so that's that's pretty big we'll see how it goes um when we when i do find out i will post it and let you know, post it on this video and let you know what it turned out to be. So it looks like odds are it's a girl. We'll see.